Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is my water change day and I just wanted to share with you the steps that I go through and some of the products that I use and see if there's any type of feedback out there that might make this process a little bit easier. So guppies, from what I understand, they are brackish. They do well in brackish water or fresh water. And my schedule, personally, I'm just trying to make these guppies fresh water to make things just a little bit easier. So it's been about a month, and I, as I water change, I added five, originally five little bitty granules of aquarium salt. And now this water change, I'm down. I'm only going to put one granule of salt in these aquariums and see how they do. I've just kind of gradually through the water changes cut back on the the salt, trying to make them a little bit more fresh water. I've never done that before, so I'm curious. So far they're doing well, but if there's any feedback that might make this easier on the fish or guppies, let me know. Um, what I do is I start off, I unplug the filters and rinse the filter and put it back in. I unplug the heater also. I take out two gallons of water in each tank. Let me go over here and I show you what I use. I did change things around. These are the stress tanks. I had to make room for the new fry tanks. So I've moved these over here. Get it to focus a little bit better. Over here, this is what I've been using. Let me get this to focus. These are two teaspoons, two teaspoons per 10 gallons. So I've just cut it down accordingly. I've been just putting a couple drops, about three, honestly, three drops per product in the aquariums as I water change. Cause since I'm not changing out every bit of the water, I don't think I need to use as much of a dose. This is the aquarium salt that I've been using slowly. And these are the test strips that I've been using to check everything out. I know guppies, they like a harder water if you do not make them in a brackish tank. And my water here runs pretty high on the hard water scale. And I'm running a pH of about 7.6, I believe is what, 7.2 to 7.6 is what it's been running. And then over here, I'll show you. These are the tanks that I've set up. If I, just in case I notice any sick fish, I've got them set up. And then these are the little fry tanks that I'm going to try to use. These are little one to three gallon filters. I put a heater in there to keep them close to their parental tanks as possible. The filters to me look like they were going to suck them up a little too much. So I, I'm in the process, let me show you one, of stuffing the, this one. I'm stuffing the filter with a little bit of a sponge to kind of slow it down a little bit. And from what I understand, the fry, they don't need to be in anything any deeper than about six inches of water so they don't have to fight so hard for the food but that might be a myth that I'm not sure but I did measure each one of these levels out to six inches and same with these little one gallon beta tanks I didn't fill them up all the way they're only six inches deep and then over here, I had some kind of leftover, or not leftovers, but a few extra little guppies that didn't go into the main tanks. They were too small. And I have them on a little heating pad just to kind of get them to grow a little bit in case maybe I do get a sick one eventually. I might be able to replace them with these, but. I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown on what I've been doing to treat my water and see if there's any oops, any feedback that might make this a little bit easier on the stress-free guppies. 
they do pretty well with it. They, I mean, obviously they do get a little bit stressed, but I want to keep these guys as stress-free as I possibly can. I have a pregnant female that, I, from what I've researched, when she stops eating and starts spitting out her food, it's going to, that's kind of a sign that she's going to start um, dropping fry. I haven't noticed her spitting out any food, but she's starting to square off pretty, pretty good. The other one in this tank, she was acting a little lethargic and she was still eating, but she was hiding behind the filter on a pretty regular basis, but she's starting to pep up and swim around a lot more than she has the last couple days. When I first put her in, she was fine, but the water's staying a pretty consistent 78 degrees in every one of the tanks, so, but she's starting to just swim around. The gravel bottoms in the stress-free tanks, they don't nibble around on the gravel too much, but here today, actually, I've noticed, this is the first time that I've noticed them really actively swimming around in the gravel. The sand tanks, they're, they're usually down there picking a lot more. I'll show you. They swim up and down, up and down, and they pick at the bottom as they swim up and down. I'm probably not going to do it now that I'm talking about them, but... They definitely pick through this sand substrate a lot more. I just picked this up at Lowe's for my little one sandbox, but they seem to do really well with it. Go over here to the stress tanks again. I do have the lights unplugged. I'm getting ready to change this water. My filters are turned off. These guys are just hanging out. This sand tank the other night I was trying to catch it but I couldn't get it fast enough the two males in this tank right after I stressed them were fighting each other and fighting over the larger female in this tank she's in the back Let's see if I can find her and I believe she's pretty close to dropping her fry too but they were going at it trying to fight for her and I assume guppies are like pretty much every animal. They're born to just reproduce and they're going to go after the most fit guppy. And since she's the biggest one in the tank, I'm assuming that's why they were so after her. But they weren't noticing any other females in the tank last night. They were just fighting after her. It didn't last very long, about 15 minutes, and they finally settled down, but... It was just a little interesting thing I noticed. So, if you have any comments, share, leave a comment, let me know. But thanks for watching.